So the inguinal hernia symptoms are one is of course a main prob common thing is it's a swelling in your uh, groin. So the swelling initially in the initial days the swelling comes uh, in the morning or when you're walking and when you lie down lie down it disappears. But over a period of time the swelling moves on from the go uh, from the groin onto the scrotum. So once it becomes a uh, goes to the scrotum, what was a previously incomplete hernia becomes a complete hernia then initially the hernias are usually reducible that means either by lying down or by pushing it you can push the intra-abdominal contents back into the abdomen but beyond a stage the hernias as they uh, become uh, bigger and they go into the scrotum they become irreducible that means the intestinal contents come out and they are stuck there so the common symptoms other than the swelling in inguinal hernia other, other areas could be a groin pain so the patients can have a dragging pain inside the groin, in the groin, a feeling of insecurity inside the point, and sometimes inguinal hernias. If, if the intestine goes inside the hernias, because the attachment of the intestine is stretched, though you have an inguinal hernia, you can sometimes have abdominal pain as well. These are the common symptoms. Sometimes inguinal hernias can have complications. So when an inguinal hernia gets stuck. Uh, it's like a, the, the neck is very narrow and the contents are very large. So what happens at the neck, the hernias contents can actually get stuck. So this can present as an emergency called irreducible hernia or strangulation. So irreducible hernia is when the contents are stuck and once the contents are stuck and their blood supply is compressed, like strangulation, the blood supply of the, in the neck of the hernia, the contents are compressed, the blood supply to the contents like the intestine or something, the blood supply gets cut off. And then it can present like an emergency with severe pain and redness and features of intestinal obstruction like, like abdominal can get distended, you can have continuous vomitings, you may not pause motion for a couple of days. But something like this occurs, it's a very emergency serious critical scenario because the intestine can become gangrenous and then the patient can go into sepsis and die. So if such a thing occurs when a patient with a groin hernia has sudden onset severe vomitings or the swelling becomes very tense and tender and red, they have to rush to a doctor.